Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slane Hope, and I got another video for y'all. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the post that I made the other day, talking about disciplining your women and your kids. And some people kind of like, of course, because people don't know the definition to words, or people don't read. You know, a lot of our, our brothers and sisters don't like books for some reason, right? So we're going to do a little reading today. I'm going to be breaking certain things down. And I'm going to also read out the post, right? And we're going to dive deep into it and talk about because if the black man cannot discipline himself or each other in his household, the community is doomed. And, and this is why the community is in the shambles that it is right now. So let me read the post to y'all. Um, it's a tweet, actually. So let me read it to y'all. You know, I'm, I'm reading it right here. So it says... Notice how ever since black man can't discipline his women and his children, things haven't been the same in the community, right? Um, now, let's go read the word, the definition of the word discipline, because a lot of people got kind of lost in what discipline means. A lot of people mistake discipline with abuse. So we're going to read it for, you know, for the slow people in the back. Um, it says the practice of training people to obey rules or code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience similar definitions right or similarities it's like um direction order authority strictness a firm hand routine training teaching instruction etc right now based on those definitions let's talk about certain things right most women, if not all, will say that they want a certain kind of man, right? They say they want a leader. They say they want a strong man. They want a protector or provider. Most women will say this, right? Most women will also say things like, I need somebody who can put me in my place. I hear a lot of women say that. So that's a clear indication right there. That women want a man with a backbone and they want a man who is able to, you know, like hold his ground. You know, not get in to them whenever they feel like it, whenever they please. They, I, I hear a, a lot of women say this. I need a man who could put me in my place. What does what, what is that? That's discipline. Okay? It don't mean they're not saying I need somebody to whoop my ass even though some... some, some <laughs> Some traumatized sisters be saying stuff like that. But the point is, that's discipline. Now, things have disintegrated in our community to the point where, you know, the man no longer the head of the household in most households, right? So, and even when there is a man present, his, his position has become weak. And all of this is by design. So, the point I was trying to make is that in today's society, right? Even though those women are saying they want this strong man that could lead them, that could discipline them, that could give them direction, that, that has a backbone, that stand firm, stand strong. Those women, most of those women still have a hard time listening. Because oftentimes those women were not raised to be wives. They was not raised or they didn't have an example. Their mamas was masculine women who probably didn't have no man around. And if she did, she probably was telling him what to do. You get what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to say is that man no longer has that position as head of the household for the most part. So the man that's not head of the household, he can't discipline his women and he can't even discipline his children. Right? The government has stepped in. Now that they're telling parents how to discipline their kids. Right? And even when a father is in the house, I done seen, I done heard so many times women tell the man, don't discipline the, the child like that. You're being too harsh. The other day I watched a video. I watched the video on the internet of, of you know, this dude, his son made a video posting with his gun and, and, and doing all of that extra stuff on the internet, trying to be a thug, trying to be tough. So his father got, the vid got a video and he embarrassed his son on, on Twitter. Right, he made a video about it and he posted it. He was like, You wanna be you wanna be tough, you wanna be shown off. So he he embarrassed them, you know, so his friends could see. And he was like, you know, and it was so many women in the comment section 
So many women in the comment section talking about like, oh, that was too harsh. Not just women, but it was some feminine men or men that are lacking in their masculinity saying things like the man was being too harsh on his son. So even in situations where the father is around and the father is trying to be that disciplinarian, right, as he should be, especially over his boy, his son, right, his teenage son, there's still some pushback. Now, I didn't see what the wife was doing. The wife was probably the one that was recording, so she probably allows us from what we see. I don't know. But the point is, I have seen situations. I don't watch videos of women stepping in. A woman trying to tell a man, like, you're being too harsh. Be soft on him. Don't do this. Don't discipline him like this. Do it like this. And you know what happens? Those same kids end up going off the rail. The train keep end up derailing. Just like single mothers, right? But I got a whole nother video on that. But the point I was trying to get to is that when it comes to discipline, right? Men usually discipline other men, right? Men discipline other men. Steel sharpens steel, right? Now, the man also has a responsibility to discipline his woman and his children. Because he, he that's his household. The same way he got a responsibility to protect them and provide for them, he has a responsibility to discipline them and hold them together when they're trying to veer off. Some of y'all going to come here like, oh, that's them little girls. That's the, no, no. Women, oftentimes, they, like I said in another video, they do, they just do these things. They throw tantrums. Like I said, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the woman came from the, the upper rib of the man, the most curved part. You ain't got to believe in God. You ain't got to believe this, right? But you can take from this example. He said she came from the most curved part of the rib of man. And he said, so you have to deal with women in a balanced way. Do not try to straighten her because you're going to break her. But at the same time, do not let her stay curved, right? So you have to be, you have, and like I said, plenty of women will tell you why they left some type, some, some, some good guy. Oh, he was too soft. He didn't put me in my place. He didn't stand firm. He didn't, you know, he didn't have a backbone. He let me do whatever. A lot of women will tell you this. The same thing happens with animals in the jungle. The lioness, she snaps at the lion and he, he growls. He puts her in her place. This is just, I don't even know why people be trying to run from this, right? Um, the women that know, they know. They know what's up. We here, we here. You know what I'm saying? The other women, the masculine women, the one who want to be men, the one who don't want to listen, don't want to follow, don't want to this, don't want to do that. Those are the ones that they trying to fight with you. They trying to, you know, they think they, they're a man too. But the point is, this is the whole trickle down effect. Discipline. There's no discipline. And this is why we always say, a woman cannot raise a man how to be a man. She can, she can support, right? She can aid. She could, that's, that's not to say she can't teach him no valuable lessons and principles. But overall, a man needs a man. To teach him how to be a man. Because there's only but so much a mama could give him. And when it comes to that heavy hand. Like I always say. Most women lose control of their kids. In their teenage years. Their sons and their daughters. And then that's when you. That's especially when you need that discipline. And you know what? It's not around. For whatever reason. I'm not here to talk about that reason. Because I'm going to make another video talking about certain things. But the whole point is that. Men needs discipline. Men, we discipline each other. Women rarely discipline each other. Women don't even hold women accountable. They actually engage in their stupidity. Um, they be like, yes, girl. Like, even though her, her girlfriend could be dead ass wrong, right? Her girlfriend could have an ugly ass dress on. She be like, girl, how I look in that dress? Like, girl, you killing it, girl. They lie to each other. They don't hold each other accountable. They don't discipline each other. This is why in the, in the Quran, it says that the man is the protector and the maintainer of the women. Because God created you in a higher degree. Not that I'm better. You get what I'm saying? It's just saying I, my physical capabilities, my, my logic, you get what I'm saying? My vision, the way that I am wired is totally different than the way that the woman is wired. And this is why God entrusted her 
are born to the man. That's how that thing go. I have a responsibility. So, that's what I meant. Hopefully, y'all got it. Some of y'all are still going to disagree. But just notice how the community has gotten because man can no longer discipline his women and his children because the woman don't want to listen. She want to do whatever she want to do. She got a little, you know, she got a little power now. She can work now. The government giving her power. So she feels like, yeah, I ain't going to listen to you. I ain't got to hear you. I ain't got to. The kids are doing the same thing. I call the police on you. Oh, you want to discipline me? You want to, oh, what? I call the cops on you. So, yeah, so, so a lot of parents, men specifically, feel powerless in a lot of these dynamics because they can't administer the proper discipline um, and direction and guidance and, and stand firm towards his women, his man, and the household. Um, so let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section. You know, and like, comment, share, subscribe if you mess with my content. Peace.